everyone, I'm Raz the Razplay, and today we're going to show you how to find this right here, the gelatin crystal. Not only that, we'll show you where to find it and how to differentiate between the gelatin crystal and the crystal shard, because this is a regular item, and this one will spawn queen slime. So we're going to show you where to find them, how to tell the difference, and how to get yourself a gelatin crystal. Sound great? Good. Now, before we get there, here's the thing. I was looking at my analytics the other day for my YouTube channel, and I've noticed that only 5% of the people that are watching my videos are actually subscribed, which tells me there's a lot of folks out there that are watching and re-watching without subscribing. So, all I'm asking for is for you to hit that subscribe button right now. That would help us out huge and get us so close to that 100,000 subscribers. I know there's a lot of you out there, so please, if we can get that number from 5%, to about 10 or 15%, that would be amazing. I appreciate it. Now let's get into the video, shall we? All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to find is the underground hallow to find all these crystals. Now, if we hit the map here, you can see that my whoa, 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 scrolling on the wrong window. As you can see right here, my hallow biome starts there. And when you defeat Wall of Flesh, the hallow biome will spawn like it is. It'll spawn diagonally, all right? So somewhere down in here will be the underground hallow that I'm looking for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head down into the underground and try and ballpark where I can find it. Good, good. All right, so I went down to the cavern layer, as you can see right here, dropped all the way down this way. Now, naturally, you'll have to dig down or go down a cavern. I happen to have a elevator right here, so it's easier for me. So I got down to about the cavern layer. There we are, 1882 caverns. Don't, not specifically 1882. Get down to the cavern layer, give yourself a little bit of room, maybe 100 blocks on either side. Then we're going to head over this way towards our hallow. Eventually, let's speed this up. Wee, there we go. We're trying to do this for time here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way over. You might be digging or running or walking. You never know. We're going to head over all the way, get over there this way, and eventually, as you can see here, the background changes, and we are now in a nice large hallow biome underground. All right, so here I am in my underground hallowed. Now, as you can tell, it's kind of opened up because I've been digging around. Now, this is how I got the idea for the video, actually, because I was trying to empty this out and, you know, open it up a little bit. And then I had a couple of the crystal shards drop, and then, well, obviously, more than a couple. And then I had a few gelatin crystal drop. And I thought, hey, have I done a video for this yet? And no, I haven't. So my question to you, now that we're here, can you tell the difference between a crystal shard and a gelatin crystal? They're both on the screen right now. Can you tell what they look like? So if you look over here, crystal shard and gelatin crystal. Can you tell? Maybe not. So that's why we're here. So let's show you the difference between the two. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go like this, we're going to hit settings, and we're going to zoom in as much as possible. All right, there we go. We're nice and zoomed in. Now, as you can see here, this right here, there's a crystal shard, and they look like that, or like that, or like that. But now, how do you tell the gelatin crystal from the crystal shard? You see this right here? Now watch carefully. It's pink, right? But wait, it's purple. It's kind of bluish. It's purple. It's pink. So these ones here do not... Oh, that's a soul light, not that. So these do not change color. They're pink, they're blue, they're purple, but they don't change color. However, the gelatin crystal will change color. So if you zoom in and look carefully, eventually, like right down there, see that? That changed color. So as you look through them, when you see one like this that changes color, what you're going to do is go up here, break a few blocks, there we go, and you'll go boom, like that, and there you go, there's a gelatin crystal. So we'll break one over here, there we go, that is a crystal shard, that's crystal shard, but like I said, if you come down and over here, there you go, there is your gelatin crystal. Can we find another one? Maybe, I'm not sure, we're going to look around real quick here, let me, oh, 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 watch, right, see? See, once you can see one, you can see them all. So we're going to go up here. There you go. Boom. There is your gelatin crystal. So that is how to find yourself a gelatin crystal in the underground hallow. Nice and simple, right? Right. So there you go. If I helped you out, and I'm pretty sure I did, well, maybe I did. Again, please think about hitting subscribe. Hit a like, comment down below, and all that fun stuff. Help us out any way you can, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Ciao.